Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about a few problems. Uh, problems here nothing but one, two expressions are given on left hand side and right hand side. Those two, how we are going to equate using this Boolean algebra, we are going to see. So, for example, the first question was show that a x r b is equal to a b bar plus a bar b and construct the corresponding logic diagrams. Okay, here we have two tasks. One is we need to prove this a x r b is equal to a b bar plus a bar b and also we need to draw the equivalent circuit diagram the logic diagram for this a b bar plus a bar b okay we know very well a x r b the expression for a x r b is a b bar plus a bar b but how we have got these two are equal how you can say that these two are equal so that can be proved by taking the truth table okay if you are if you are asked to equate any two boolean equations on left hand side and right hand side the one and only one method to prove that is using truth table so using truth table using truth table we can prove Uh, such equality problems okay that means something that is equal to some expression okay so for example our example is given as a x r b is equal to a b bar plus a bar b a x r b is equal to a bar plus b plus a b bar okay so first we need to take the truth table with two inputs a b okay how many inputs we have in the given expression that many inputs we should consider in the truth table and first we sh we already know the xr operation output a x r b okay so two inputs four combinations 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 these are the four com four possible combinations for this xr operation for two inputs okay now we know very well xr operation gives one output as one when odd number of ones in the odd number of ones in the inputs so here it is zero here we have odd number of ones see zero one so total number of ones are one so odd number one again one zero total number of ones are one 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 zero okay this is a xrb now let us prove whether it is equal to the right hand side or not so on right hand side we have b bar so complement of b is 1 0 1 0 complement of b is 1 0 1 0 and take a bar also because whatever the expressions we have in that equation on the right hand side first we need to take them individually so a bar is 1 1 0 0 so a bar we have b bar we have now a b bar a into b bar this a this b bar nothing but we have an under operation between these two so whenever two ones are there we are have we are having output as one so it is zero it is zero it is one it is zero again a bar b a bar b so a bar is nothing but here b is nothing but here so it is zero it is one and again 0 again 0 now if you add these two output is nothing but a b bar plus a bar b if you add these two see here we have 1 is 0 here we have 0 output is 0 0 1 1 of uh, r operation gives if any one of the inputs is 1 output is 1 1 here it is 1 0 1 and 0 0 0 see the output of this particular XR operation with the A bar B plus A B bar. See these two whether they are equal or not. Okay, so hence it is proved such that A bar A X R B is equal to A B bar plus A bar B. Now let us see the similar kind of examples. Let us see the similar kind of examples A X R X N R B. A 
prove a x naught b is equal to a bar b bar plus a b. This is one solution, or we can also say a x naught x r b whole bar. A x r b whole bar. So first again for the same example, we have to consider same method. So a b as inputs and we know very well about this x nor gate so a b 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 x nor operation we know whenever even number of ones are there output is 1 here it is 1 0 0 output is 1 remaining cases output is 0 and a bar b bar let us see individually a bar b bar 1 1 0 0 and here it is 1 0 1 0 okay now a bar into b bar and operation between these two 0 0 0 0 and now a bar b bar plus a b okay we should also calculate a b of course okay a b is nothing but whenever these two are one output is one we can do it here only a b 0 0 0 output is one okay so now we have calculated a b and as well as a bar b bar so whenever these two are ones um, check whether it is correct or not because we have got uh, a b it is triple zero one it is also okay correct now see when these two are added when these two are added here one plus zero it is one again zero 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 one plus zero it is one check whether the output of XNR operation we have got the same or not see here 1001 here also 1001 ok so mainly whenever we are reducing the boolean expressions such type of expansions are very very important ok if we are having this expression in any boolean equations a x nor b we cannot directly simplify it we should expand this in this format and then we can multiply with other um, words other product terms whatever we have okay and let us move on to the third example let us move on to the third example show that show that a plus b otherwise a x r b is equal to a plus b into a b bar a plus b into a b bar ok now let us see whether it is correct or not by just taking the same method First, we need to take the truth table a b 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 now already we know x r operation so a x r b is 0 1 1 0 for even number of ones now it is a plus b a plus b is nothing but r operation between a and b whenever there is a one input is one one of the inputs is one then output is one so here it is zero one 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 and what is the other expression we should have to calculate a b and then we can take the bar otherwise you can also do like this just a b bar is nothing but nand gate nand gate of this one okay so for all number of ones output is zero remaining cases output is one so here it is 0 and all these are 1's ok so now the output is a x r b into a b bar a x r b into a b bar now check multiply these two wherever you are having 1's remaining cases output is 0 ok check whether we have got the same expression or not uh, it is a plus it is a plus that is a plus 
okay uh, sorry c take this xr output and as well as xr output and as well as this overall output whether we have got the same or not okay and we need we have to draw the circuit diagram also see here the first expression is a b bar plus a bar b a b bar plus a bar b is we have two and gates here it is one and gate another and gate the output of these two is r gate the output of these two gates is nothing but r gate because it is a b bar plus a bar b again here we need we need one inverter for making a complicate and again it is b and a bar b another case is a b bar okay these two are product terms from these two and gates and then these two are uh, R'd by passing through this R operation. So it is A B bar plus A bar B. Nothing but A X R B operation. And coming to the second case, see here it is also given with two product terms. So that's why we need two AND gates. How many product terms are there? That many AND operations we should produce here. So here it is A A bar b bar so the output is a bar b bar and it is a b here we have a b on the second and gate now these two are passing through r gate these two are passing through r gate to get the output a x nor b is equal to a b bar a bar b bar plus a b okay so and coming to the third one it is very easy we need uh, we need one or gate we need one or gate and we should also need and gate we should also need and gate with the complement of the product okay so here it is and gate complemented form This is A, this is B, this is A B bar, and this one should be A B here, A B. It is R gate, so it gives A A plus B, not X R. It is A plus B. Okay, so it is A plus B. What is the output of these two? So when we multiply these two, it gives the answer. So when we have, we have here, we have to take one and gate. And gate output is A plus B multiplied by A B whole bar. This is the output equation. Okay. So in this way, first we need to draw the truth table of each and every product term, how many we have in that uh, given expression. For all that, we need to take the truth table and uh, which is the final expression on the left hand side, which is the final expression on the right hand side. We need to take those two marking like this so that uh, we can understand that uh, these two are equal. Okay. And uh, later, we need to draw the logic diagram of the corresponding Boolean expression given. Okay. On the right hand side, we need to draw. Left hand side is no need. Okay. Thank you.